Welcome to the Help Tech Dad channel, the non-techies guide to tech. My name is Reggie. My goal is to help people handle tech issues the easy way. In this video, I'll be sharing some of the most useful Gmail tips and tricks that can help you to get more out of your email experience. In addition to the core features, I'll also show you how to use the confidential mode feature to send emails that expire or can't be forwarded, copied, or printed, how to use the grant access to account feature to give someone temporary access to your Gmail account, and how to use filters to automatically label, delete, or forward incoming emails. Let's do this! Gmail's confidential mode is a feature that allows you to send emails that expire, with passcode or can't be forwarded, copied, or printed by the recipient. It's designed to give you more control over the sensitive information that you share through email. To set an expiration date for an email. Compose a new email or reply to an existing one as you normally would. Click on the confidential mode button, it looks like a lock with a clock face, in the bottom right corner of the compose window. Check the box next to set expiration date. Use the calendar and time selector to choose the date and time when you want the email to expire. You can choose to have the email require an SMS passcode to be viewed. Click on the save button to apply your confidential mode settings. Send the email as you normally would. The email will now expire at the date and time you specified, and the recipient will no longer be able to access it. Please note that the expiration date applies to the entire email, including attachments, and it cannot be changed once the email has been sent. Gmail's Undo Send feature allows you to cancel the sending of an email for a certain period of time after you click the Send button. This can be useful if you realize you made a mistake in the email, such as forgetting to attach a file or including the wrong recipient. To enable the Undo Send feature, click on the Settings gear icon in the top right corner of the Gmail interface. In the Settings menu, click on the General tab. Scroll down to the Undo Send section. Use the drop-down menu to choose the cancellation period for the Undo Send feature. The options range from 5 seconds to 30 seconds. Click on the Save Changes button at the bottom of the page. Once you have enabled the Undo Send feature, you will see an Undo button appear in the top right corner of your screen whenever you send an email. If you click on the undo button within the cancellation period, the email will not be sent and will be returned to your draft folder. Gmail's plus addressing feature allows you to create multiple email addresses from a single Gmail account by adding a plus sign and a keyword to your email address. You can use plus addressing to organize your incoming emails and to avoid giving out your main email address to unfamiliar parties. For example, if I want to sign up for a newsletter, I would enter helptechdad plus newsletter at gmail.com in the email field. Please note that the keyword you choose for plus addressing must be separated from your email address by a plus sign, and it cannot contain any spaces or special characters. Gmail Schedule Send feature allows you to schedule an email to be sent at a later date and time. This can be useful if you want to send an email but you don't want it to be delivered immediately, or if you want to send an email while you are not at your computer. To schedule an email to be sent in Gmail. Compose a new email or reply to an existing one as you normally would. Click on the Send button to open the Send menu. In the Send menu, click on the Schedule Send option. Choose the date and time that you want the email to be sent. Click on the Schedule Send button to confirm your selection. The email will now be scheduled to be sent at the date and time you specified. You can view and manage your scheduled emails by clicking on the Scheduled label in the left pane of the Gmail interface. Gmail's filters allow you to automatically label, delete, or forward incoming emails based on specific criteria such as the sender, the subject, or the contents of the email. You can use filters to organize your inbox, to delete spam or unwanted emails, or to forward important emails to another address. To create a filter in Gmail, click on the Settings gear icon in the top right corner of the Gmail interface. In the Settings menu, click on the Filters and Blocked Addresses tab. 
click on the Create a New Filter button. In the Create a Filter window, enter the criteria that you want to use to filter your emails, e.g. the sender's address, the subject, etc. Click on the Create Filter button. In the Filter Actions window, choose the action that you want the filter to perform, e.g. apply a label, delete the email, forward it to another address, etc. Click on the Create Filter button to save your filter. Your filter will now be applied to incoming emails that match the specified criteria. You can view and manage your filters by clicking on the Filters and Blocked Addresses tab in the Settings menu. Gmail's Grant Access to Account feature allows you to give another person temporary access to your Gmail account without sharing your password. This can be useful if you need someone else to manage your emails or to access specific emails on your behalf. To grant access to your Gmail account, click on the Settings gear icon in the top right corner of the Gmail interface. In the Settings menu, click on the Accounts and Import tab. Click on the Add Another Account button. Enter the email address of the person you want to grant access to your account then click on the Next Step button. Click on the Send Email button to send an invitation to the person you are granting access to. The person you granted access to will receive an email with a link to accept the invitation and sign into your account. They will be able to access your account until you revoke their access or the access period expires. Let me know in the comments section below if you need further assistance, I'd be glad to help. If you find this video helpful, kindly like and share it. Please consider subscribing for more tech videos like this. Until next time.